This is Force 13 with its first look at a developing uh, tropical low with this 94S off the northwest Western Australia case. Cyclone warning continues for the Kimberley case for a developing uh, tropical low and warning zone at this point in time is Kiwi Bay to uh, Bingle Bay and not including Derby. Sustained winds in the centre of 45 kilometres per hour, wind gusts to 85 kilometres an hour, located within 85 kilometres of 14 decimal 5 degrees south, 123 decimal 3 degrees east, 170 kilometres northwest of Kui Bay, 360 kilometres west of Canberra. The low is forecast to develop into a tropical cyclone. During Thursday, conditions remain favourable for intensification as it continues to move southwest over water later in the week, parallel to the case. And the Bureau via the Tropical Cyclone Warning Centre in Perth is now indicating a possible Category 3 uh, system. And the Tropical Low is currently moving southwest at 21 kilometres an hour, it's actually slowed. Joint Typhoon Warning Centre has issued a tropical cyclone formation alert and that's their first track. Now we have a look at the satellite imagery of the life of Invest 94 up to a few hours ago. Gales with gusts to 100 kilometres an hour are expected on the coast during Wednesday but may develop during Thursday morning between Cooey Bay and Beagle Bay. If the system moves closer to the coast, squatting thunderstorms expected, locally heavy rainfall possible, particularly about the northwest Kimberley coast. Now we have a look at the Pivotal Weather website. It's a GFS accumulated precipitation model. The precipitation is at the bottom of the screen. And what I look for is the area in yellow through to dark brown. And it's turning out to be a very busy uh, period down here in the uh, southern hemisphere. We have a uh, 90 uh, S over near the Cocos Keeling Island in the South Indian. We have 95 P. Uh, Cape York uh, to my north. Now we have a look at various uh, tracks. Late cycle track guidance and they're indicating a possible Cat 4, low range Cat 4, which will make it a Category 5 on the Australian scale. Now this is a BSCH website, it's a GFS Win Probability and this is from 7pm through to lunchtime tomorrow and the wind speed in knots is at the bottom of the screen. Bureau of Meteorology's total forecast of rain, the rainfall scale is there on the right hand side of the screen and this is across the uh, next eight days and a look at that area. We have a very powerful MJO pulse which is tracking towards the maritime uh, continent. Upper level divergence is around 30 knots. The 24 hour shear tendency, 850 minute bar vorticity and you can see 95p, 94s and a couple of areas of interest to the east of Cape York, the wind shear. And now we have a look at the Himalaya 8 satellite view of Australia's western region. And you've got 90s, 94s, 95p. One area of uh, interest, although the Bureau of Meteorology doesn't have anything via their high seas forecast page for Solomon Island and one slightly to the north of Vanuatu. This is the current position of the Joint Typhoon Warning Centre. And 
and we will continue to bring the uh, latest information across the uh, global tropical scene. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com, our YouTube page youtube.com forward slash force13, on Facebook under the same name force13, and our Twitter handle, it's at force13 if you wish to get in touch. You can also add Force 13 on Skype and my personal account on Discord, Fool 13, at extension 9094.